chapter 12 so we, we still have uh, a couple of sections to finish so uh, listen lesson uh, 12.6 which is mutual fund so we're going to talk about mutual fund in this on this section mutual fund is it's a stocks you know but it's a group of stocks that um, uh, companies, for example, they would um, uh, you, you would give so, so certain companies an amount of money, and then they'll you'll decide you and them about the the level of, of um, you know risk that you're gonna take on um, buying those stocks. Uh, usually, they ask you if you want to divide your money, for example, uh, on a uh, medium risk, for example, low risk, high risk uh, funds. So mutual funds usually a group of stocks that bought together. Uh, not as individual stocks, you know, and there's a charges the way the way they charge for it uh, There's something called loading charge either they they charge you at the beginning or they charge you at the end uh, We'll do this at when class so uh, It's a quick just this is a quick idea about what we're going to be doing that week uh, the next section will be about uh, bonds bonds um, you know also uh, remember, this chapter is about investments. Okay, so you could buy bonds. Uh, usually, usually, uh, a lot of uh, governments or countries they do sell bonds. Um, usually, bonds are, are made to to be bought and kept for years. That's that's the the, the logical way of doing things. Usually, so you could say them. You know, here I heard they mentioned that it's between ten to to thirty years. So you leave, you buy it, and you leave it. You know, as as a as an investment for the future for you for your kids and all that so um the way it works definitely i cannot explain it here so i have to sit down and, and then talk about talk about it in class um, the bond cost will have a face value then you have a percentage then you there's an annual interest on it okay so you could you could you could take your annual interest on it uh, uh, and it will be decided by by the company or the government and you have to you agree or you don't agree. So either if you are, if you like the percentage and you like the the, the specifications of the that bond, then then you'll buy it. For example, the next section after that, which is uh, twelve point eight. Okay, let's let's go for twelve point eight. Twelve point eight. It's about real estate. Okay, that's the last investment that we can be talking about buying a property and renting the property for example okay so investment here in this case you're 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 buying a real estate and renting it okay so how much this is an easy section by the way you know you just need to find out what's your annual in income from that and and the amount of money that you put uh, in the investment okay when you buy a house how much money you took from uh, you know uh, how many but you need to keep a track of um, uh, the loan amount and uh, the down payment so the down payment and the loan amount uh, that's how we're going to be doing it so usually the down payment is the the essence here um, so when you say when you when you put a thirty thousand dollars as a down payment on the house so that's your own uh, cash hard you know earned cash and you see how much how much that real estate will give you by the end of the year for example and then you compare it to uh, your down payment and then then you will compare you say well was it a good investment or not you know so uh, it's interesting chapter so we'll we'll do it together as always okay guys so that's it and we'll talk we'll talk to you later bye bye